Hey Capricorns, it's Sunny, and this is your weekly for the week of January the 11th, 2016. Hopefully all my Capricorns can have an awesome week this week. Um, happy birthday to my Capricorns who are also celebrating their birthday this week. But let's see what this week has in store for you. Alright, I see that many of you, like you are on your way to a new journey or there's a new path that you must take i've been talking about a new path for many of you but i'm seeing that some of you like you feel like there's a delay or there's some sort of block in front of you and you're just like okay what what happened well i don't i don't know what happened okay so you're gonna have to face this week and like face the cha the challenges that come to you with a clear mindset Okay, I do feel like many of you, you may be a bit sneaky when it's involving something, so be careful about that. Or you may find that others are being sneaky with you. Do be, do be careful of driving, because driving may be a bit weird this week. Like, either you're speeding, or it's like you don't see something. I'm picking up that someone is, like, blindfolding you, or you may be blindfolded, or you may be blinding yourself to a certain situation, meaning you aren't seeing the truth within something. Okay, so... Be careful about that. And I'm gonna pull out this, turn that over. And I'm also going to uh, get a card from the Hilly McFerry deck. Boy. Okay, so this card flew out. I did not see it. I seriously didn't like it fell on my lap, facing downwards. And it's funny because I kept seeing the down motion. Okay, so do be careful of you getting yourself down. So I guess you guys are going to have two messages for my fairy deck because I'm going to pull out another one. I do see that you need to stop like being a little puppy or like whining or like following someone who just really isn't good. Okay, I do see that many of you like you are going to face many challenges this week. So do be careful about that. This may be challenges with other people or challenges with money and change. I do see that um, there's change heading your way, but you're seriously on the fence about it or you just don't know how to handle this change. So be careful about that. But you may find that you are working with people who are really, really bossy or just people who want you to do what they want you to do. So be careful of... Um, peer pressure I will say or you know someone mind fucking you alright and you know be careful of you doing this the same uh, of you doing this as well um this is going to be a fairly good time for you to work through things the best way that you can I'm also picking up help with this card as well so you may be in need of something and you may have to reach out to others so there may be someone willing to help you let me see this insight with that. Yeah, someone would be willing to help you, but you you kind of do need to be careful because this person, like, they may ask you to help them in return, or they may put it over your head, like, hey, I, I did this for you. What are you going to do for me? Like, you, you may be in that situation. But someone will be willing to help you. This may be someone from your past or someone who understands your struggle and your hurt. Okay? So, or someone who seriously has a soft spot for you. Because I'm not picking up anything negative from this card. But I do see that you need to release something that's been hurting you and blocking you. And you may have to ask help from people who you've hurt in the past or who, or who you've had some conflict with. So it honestly just depends upon what's going on. But I am picking up that many of my Capricorns, you need to face some sort of inner turmoil. And this may be something that has happened to you like within the past, tying into the Three of Swords. Because I felt like a lot of hurt with that card and it was like from past issues so you know please find ways of releasing that energy because it's holding you back from a lot okay and it's causing for some of you to make past mistakes um i'm also picking up that this is going to be a fairly good time for apologizing and moving forward with people with patience please budget your money save your money honey 
um, because money may be a bit of an issue for my Capricorns, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that many of you, like, you may be throwing something away, so do be mindful of your spending this week. And also, like, get rid of shit that, like, you don't wear or, like, clean up. Picking up that many of you, like, you need to clean up an axe or clean up your home. Just really find um, ways of changing yourself. I also, I'm also picking up that many of you, like, you need to be mindful of your energy towards money because you may feel as if oh my god like you may just really be thinking about money and it may be affecting you in a way like eventually like m like money is going to come into you within due time but you seriously do need to be mindful of the energy that you have with money i do see that someone will be willing to help you out with money it may be an air sign or someone who has a lot of money but or i'm picking also i'm picking up that many of you like you may get a job this week because i am picking up on like growth when it comes to like things that you've been waiting on like maybe you put out an inter like maybe you put out um an application like seven weeks or seven months ago and maybe they're contacting you now and maybe you're just like um, i don't really want it anymore so i mean it is what it is we are in mercury retrograde so you may find that you do not want this job anymore or you may find that this kind of temporary issue when mercury goes indirect on the 25th so do be patient with yourself and honestly your money issues will be okay because the cars are saying that they will be okay so you know just give it some time Take this time to release any um, emotional baggage that you're still holding on to. Many of you, like, you may find some sort of love this week, okay? Um, newness when it comes to love. You may find someone who makes you feel really innocent and makes you feel really giggly and happily and fun. But I am seeing that, honestly, you seriously need to take things slow when it comes to love. Because communication may be a bit weird, okay? Yes, I think so when it comes to love. It has potential, but take it slow. There, you need to pay attention to science as well. Your guardian angels are showing you things, whether it's through love or through self-growth or you know, whatever the case may be. So please pay attention to the science and also pay attention to dreams. I feel like many of you, like you may have dreams of beaches or ponds or just water in general. Um, you are understand. You you need to understand yourself and your subconscious okay in order for you to adapt to change because the angels that keep talking about change and understanding a path so you know be mindful of all of that but you seriously need to release something but like i said many of you like you may find love this week but be careful because once again we are in mercury retro, uh, retrograde so please take things so okay so like i said communication may be a bit weird but you need to calm down control your little feisty side okay and find harmony within certain situations i do see that many of you like you're really thinking about your children you want you want what's best for your kids if you have uh, kids you may find that your children are a bit needy this week or they may be acting out a bit more this week so understand like why they're going through that or like just understand like what's really uh going on with them i do see that many of you like you may just want to be lazy so do be careful of you being in a lazy spell. But blessings are heading your way or they're being granted to you this week. But I'm picking up that they're like really sudden and really, really small. And they're through visions and feelings. Okay, so this is more of an intangible blessing. Okay, so just be open and be mindful of time. Be mindful of time. Okay. Okay, so the angels were like, get the fuck out of your head. So, <laughs> please be mindful of any mental clutter that you're going through. Tying into me talking about, like, change or you need to release or you need to cleanse something, okay? And also tying into with the Ace of Cups. But be mindful of your words. Communication may be weird. You may find that you are arguing with, with people. So, please be careful about that. Uh, some of you, like, you may be going through some legal issues during this time. So, I do see that, you know, it may be a bit of a battle and it may be a bit of a struggle, but the cards are showing that you, like many of you, like 70% of you will gain a winning case. Like 70 or 80% will gain a winning case. However, you do need to be mindful of your attitude 
you seriously seriously do um i'm also picking up that many of you like you may like be spying on someone or you may be like going on someone's facebook or you may download an app to see if they're texting someone else and wh like what they're saying to somebody else i mean if you got to do all that it's not worth it okay and also i'm seeing that you may be dealing with someone who you cannot read during this time like someone is really really cold and it's just like you don't know how to take them anymore all right um i do see that honestly you need to be mature this is going to be a really good time for you to allow for your work and your actions to speak for you rather than your words because your words can come off a bit cunning okay so be careful about that but the leo card popped up and the air and an air sign card popped up so let me see capricorns dealing with a leo sun moon arising capricorns dealing with a leo i'm seeing a bit of a roller coaster ride with this person this may be fun or just overbearing okay so many of you like you may feel fairly powerless with a leo like you don't know what to do but i'm seeing that this person is going to help you gain a new perspective or you are going to help this person gain a new perspective most definitely it has potential that you guys need to find a compromise and just be careful of you battling with each other and just make sure that you guys are on the same page i do see that truth is coming to the light whether it's on on your end or this other person's end but just be mindful of you placing illusions or insecure thoughts okay basically get the fuck out your head okay but capricorn's dealing with an aquarius okay so there may be some wishes granted with this aquarius just be mindful that you guys aren't using each other a new beginning you have a lot of choices so hold on okay so there may be some friendship with this person maybe you guys are helping each other heal just be careful yeah like honestly just be careful like of you guys not using each other for selfish needs like oh i give you what you want or you give me what i want and we deal with it that way because i do feel like someone is either being too giving or someone is kind of mind playing someone tying into me talking about someone being mind fucked in the beginning of the reading okay so you know understand the true motives of each other and make sure that this is really really genuine okay but you may share many adventures with this um aquarius this person whether it's good or bad it just depends upon what's going on or you may find that this aquarius person is coming back from the past it's you whatever you want to do you know it's really up to you but Capricorn's dealing with a Gemini. Alright. Oh, this is cool because this is the Aquarius' card. So, you need to heal from a Gemini. Or possibility of a two-sided person. And this would be their sun and moon and or their rising. Be careful of this being physically based. You guys need to find a balance. Understand where each other is truly coming from. You may be connected spiritually to um, a Gemini, but I do feel like this person may be a bit wishy-washy for you. Like, you just don't know what this person wants. Like, maybe the personality is a bit too, like, overbearing. Okay, or I'm picking up that also someone may be holding this situation up at a pedestal or you're fantasizing about it too much. So, do be mindful of what it is that you truly want, what this person wants and call it a day okay <laughs> but let's see capricorn is dealing with a libra i'm seeing some changes between you and a libra okay so it's like you're waiting for change you're waiting on something new to happen like someone really isn't satisfied or you aren't seeing any progress i hate to say yeah, someone is losing someone is losing interest. Yeah, someone is losing interest. Someone is just like, okay, I'm not getting what I want. Someone may be walking away from this or someone feels really, really hurt or abandoned. Be careful of any STDs, I hate to say. 
I do feel like this person, like they talked a good game or like they're going to keep talking like, hey, I love you or I want to make things work. I want something with you. I want to build with you. But actions speak louder than words. I do see that many of you, like you're just going to like walk away from this person or this person is going to walk away from you if you're being um, the asshole in the relationship. Okay. But let's see what the overall message for you guys this week is. Okay, so you guys need to gain a proper judgment upon something. So many of you, like you are going through some legal issues. Or your guardian angels are trying to give you signs of things. So be mindful of your mindset in order for you to see things clearly. Okay, so out with the old and with the new, really tying into change. But I am picking up on a halt for many of you. So please be mindful of what's going on in your head in order for you to really gain you know the success that you're looking for okay i do see that you may feel as if you're being judged or you may find that others are judging you a bit more this week um i mean take it with a grain of salt it is what it is everybody got opinions but you need to overcome this you know people's words don't determine the kind of person you are all right so at the end of the day you are who you are and you can just move on from that like don't let us stress you out but i do see that there's some sort of newness coming into you guys' life but many of you like it's just like you still maybe past actions past mindset like you need to cleanse your home whatever it is you need to do you need to do it but healing with fair deck messages from this this is the card that randomly popped out um magic of nature many of you like you do need to get out you need to have fun okay because I, I do feel like my capricorns like you may be you may have been like overworking like being a workaholic or just like staying inside a lot i can say that for myself because i rarely rarely go out like i never been out like to a club or party i'm not into that deal but lately i've been wanting to go out more so this is really tying in with me okay so please get out and have fun because there are signs out in the universe um, and honestly out through nature that you need to pay attention to even though it's cold like if you live in the northern hemisphere obviously it's cold and we're going through winter right now but you know bundle up and just find find ways to have fun outside but the other message okay financial flow so this is I never seen this card in the deck before so and funny because I did talk about like there's gonna be some funny business when it comes to your finances and after that I said like financially like you're gonna be good so it's honestly all about your energy like if you think negatively about your energy or like or about your money or like you keep checking your bank account like looking like oh has my money changed has my money changed like be be patient Okay, because, you know, the cards are saying that financial flow <clears throat> will be granted to you. And this is kind of tying into change. Capricorns, it's all about your energy. All about your energy. Just make room for change. Okay. Have an awesome week, my Capricorns. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating it, celebrating it this week. Tongue twister. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.